hello everybody welcome back to rbx codex so today i will be showing you a different component of not a component a part of j option pane till now you all may be knowing show message dialog and i have also shown you the uh, using of j confirm uh, j op uh, j option pane confirm dialog today i'm going to show you an another component only of j option pane that is input dialog now what is actually input dialog when you uh, a dialog box in which you enter any name or any anything any name of it uh, means any text and it is added to a list or taking any uh, input or any string from uh, any dialog box that is actually a input dialog of j option pane so yes definitely i'm using netins and i have opened or created a frame form here and i will design my application adding i'll be adding a label first designing part actually takes a little bit time okay okay button j text area that's it okay this will be a kind of list line wrap these two properties are selected so that the text just uh, uh, means uh, line wrap is a property in which if you are uh, if a text is added here and it is too long then it does not cross this border line wrap means that the text is between these two borders not crossing this border and wrap style word is that for example i am writing a word classmate and i have written classmate and after ma there is no space and the te is added in the next line because of line wrap so wrap style word means it will identify a meaningful word and it will not cut a word from between it will just uh, put that whole word in the next line that is uh, the use of this property okay now continuing with the programming uh, in this button i will be doing the coding j button one double click it or just right click events action action performed it's all in the same and first of all we will be adding uh, i mean uh, taking the input from option pane so using a uh, input dialog so simply taking a uh, variable name is equal to j option pane dot show input dialog and in the pa parenthesis enter name or simply enter oh no it is an enter name fine okay i forgot to add codes because it's a string and we are printing this string so it is important to add a code add quote okay one minute i forgot that data type string and now i have one did one more mistake we in p capital import java swing j option pane it's imported here it's an ide so it helps you so i have took and now i will just run it to show you that what i have did till now running the application i am in the frame form input dialog okay if i click this button enter name and input dialog pops up and uh, <coughs> i am <coughs> entering my name and i will press okay nothing happened i know nothing happened what i will do is that i will program this form in such a way that when a user clicks this, this button this uh, uh, input pane pops up then he uh, she or he will uh, 
enter her his name here and press ok then the name should be uh, printed here first of all I will make this text field uneditable there are two ways to make this text field uneditable first is just go to properties and un uncheck this or untick this editable button or the second way is go to source code find this init components and under this just type j text area dot text text area one dot set edit table false so now if the property is ticked or unticked no matter the text field will be uneditable because i have done uh, uh, what can i say initialized coding <clears throat> initial coding see it is uneditable the cursor is not coming here if i remove this code if i just remove this code and run the application or the <clears throat> jframe form it will be editable so this is a little trick or little method to do this <clears throat> now what i want to do when the user clicks this button i input dialog pops up and when he enters his here her or his name the name will be printed here how can i do this go to source code i have already took the uh, user's name in this uh, variable name now in the next line i will print it in the jtext area one so simple very simple coding jtext area one dot set text name so simple now just click it i will enter my name and just click ok yes it is printed now i have to do one more thing that if there is also here one thing i have not done that if i give the name and press ok ok it's printed and i gave another name let it be abc and i pressed ok it will replace my name so i want that it should be a list how can i do this well the best technique to do is this plus in codes slash forward slash n slash n means it will just uh, print the next text in the next line it's a line break statement so now i will run my application you can use any variable <clears throat> you can also use int here okay okay there is some fault there is some fault that is coming here okay i think that should be this should be done like this compiler reads your code like this not like this i don't remove my debugs while uh, making this tutorial because it is important for you guys also but no 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 it's not working name is equal to okay actually the doing of this technique is print the name plus encodes slash in okay plus j text area one dot get text i think now this code will work easily I hope this works or pun Bravo it worked now I can add any name any name any name it will be a form of list I cannot edit it from here enter any name any name any name 
it's successfully done now just to make it more dynamic add one more button here code it I'm I mean text clear double click J J text area one dot set text empty codes and semicolon whatever I did on the press of that clear button the text area will be cleared off I enter my name okay another name okay I am not using any person's name okay now clear it is clear so that the, the that's all for today hope this video will help you this following code is there in the description box go and get your code from there and like this video subscribe this video i mean subscribe the channel because i give such exciting and interesting tutorials well this time i'm weekly premiering every week one premiere because of because i have not so much time so per week one video per week one week one video is coming on the thursdays thursday premieres night 10 15 so hope you like my videos hope i hope it's helpful for you well thanks for watching this video like this video well youtube has banned sharing youtube in youtube sharing is not allowed so don't share my video on the external sources if you want share my video in the youtube only that means share through youtube messages but please don't share the video out I uh, means to the external sources like whatsapp or anything just watch it and if you want your friends to watch this video tell them that they watch this video by going to my channel you can share the link of my channel but sharing the video link is actually uh, not a part of youtube now according to youtube terms and conditions 2019 so it's better that you share the channel link instead of sharing the video link well that's uh, all for today thanks for watching this video subscribe for more updates take care